This is MicroPulse video tutorial number four, basic care and maintenance of your ISIS PEMF system. The first thing you always need to do is always use a fully charged nine volt battery in systems that have removable batteries. We recommend the use of maximal power from amazon.com. It is okay to allow the nine volt battery to run until it's completely drained. Once drained, you should remove the battery and recharge it immediately. Whenever you remove the coils, clean the plug with clean cloth or paper towel. Then insert the coil all the way, every time. It's best to do this when the power is off to avoid any chance of short circuiting the output. Never remove or insert coils with the pulse generator running. Never leave batteries in the pulse generator when it's not being used. Always remove the batteries and if rechargeable, recharge them for the next use. This will make your rechargeable batteries last a lot longer. Test the coils with the coil test chip. This is very easy to do. You turn the system on. You hold the hexagonal coil test chip over the coils and you'll see flashing green LED lights on the coil test chip. You can test the coils individually. You can test them together. Never touch the coils with anything that's like a liniment, balm, salve, grease, or poultice. Specifically, don't use horse liniment. This is very bad. Put it away. If you use horse liniment, your coils will go from being nice, light gray, and very flexible. This is an older set of coils on which horse liniment was used. These will crack, fall apart, and they're destroyed by greases, salves, balms, liniments, anything like that. So although your coils are made out of the highest grade available, medical thermal plastic rubber, do not use any kind of grease, salve, or balm on them. Another problem is, if you use a grease or salve, it may actually extract material from the coil and leave a brown ring that's visible on skin. The ISIS coils are disposable. They don't last forever. They're like a toothbrush. That means you need to replace them every one to three months. So they should be replaced frequently. We provide them on our webpage, micro-pulse.com, at a very low cost so that you can always be sure to have new, clean, and working set of ISIS coils. You should always replace the ISIS coils when they are visibly damaged, or if they fail testing with the coil test chip, or if they appear ragged and worn, or if you can see any kind of visible damage. A final thing to remember, keep your ISIS system away from metal plates and screens while in use. This includes large metal sheets, plates, foils, and screens, because metal surfaces like that can short the magnetic field while the system is operating. If you do these simple things, your ISIS system pulse generator should last a very long time. If you frequently replace the coils, your system will perform very well for a very long time.